everyone. I'm Dr. Ritu, and today we are going to discuss the topic blood grouping system. This topic is very important as the viva point of view, and your examiner is going uh, to ask a question regarding this topic. So, uh, first, I would like to discuss about the importance of doing blood group system. The very first example is uh, before uh, blood transfusion reaction. Like we are doing blood transfusion before the uh, chron uh, before chronic anemia for treatment purposes and for the all major and minor operations. The second use is determination of RH and compatibility reactions. And third is, uh, third is the medical legal aspect. The fourth is uh, genomic studies as well as in paternity disputes. So there are different types of blood group system. Here we are focusing the main uh, blood group systems. There are two main blood group systems. As we all know, it's very common. The ABU blood group system and RH uh, group system. The other is MN type, Davis type, Kell, and Duffy. There are other also, but these are some important blood group systems. And there are different types of terminology which we are going to use while doing this blood group system. So uh, these terminologies are A glutinogen is antigen, and A glutinin is antibody, and A glutination reaction is the reaction between the A glutinogen and A glutinin, that is antigen and antibody reaction. The next having is Landstiner law. He is a scientist who discovered the blood group system. And in Landstiner law, the, there are two components, the first component and the second component. Now, what the first component states? The first component states that if the A glutinogen present on the RBC membrane, then the corresponding A glutinin, that is antibody, is absent in the plasma. Now, the second law is just vice versa of the first. If, uh, which states that if the A glutinogen is absent on the RBC membrane, then the corresponding A glutinin must be present on the plasma. Okay? So it's very easy. Just, you need to just mark up this first one, and the other is just opposite of the first component. Now, this is the table which, uh, which contains the blood group system, antigen, and antibody. Like in ABU blood, ABU blood group system, we have four types of blood grouping. The first is blood group A, which has antigen on the RBC membrane, antigen A, and antibody, antib, which will present on plasma. Now the blood group B, which have antigen B and antibody, anti A. And the, the blood group system third is AB, which having the antigen A and B, and it has antibody. No, there is no any antibody in AB, AB blood group. Now the fourth is uh, blood group O, which have uh, we don't have any antigen, but it has both the antibodies anti A as well as anti B. So uh, this is a basic theory of the blood group system. Now how do you how if you can perform this practice? For performing this practice, I need to rub. I need some space to write. So what we need we need four glass lines, and we need commercially prepared antibodies. And uh, if you have these things, then you can perform your, uh, your blood group system even in your room. Like if these are, this is one glass line, this is the other glass line, and this one is the third glass line. So we need four, uh, by four glass line, we will mix this, these all solutions. So this, uh, this label is anti A, anti B and anti B. I would like to mention the color of these antibodies. This anti anti A is look like uh, it's blue in color. This one is yellow in color, and this is colorless. Okay. So uh, how to do this practical? You need to prick under all A safety precautions this middle finger by the help of uh, needle. Then you need to pour the one blood drop over here, like uh, from the red I will draw. This is the blood drop. Now in second slide, I'll pour another blood drop. In third slide, the third drop drop. Uh, now, uh, so these are three blood drops. So before pouring this blood drop, you need to uh, take a sample of this anti-A anti-B and anti-D. Then from the uh, other, the fourth glass light, if consider this, my duster is a glass light, then and these have four corners, then from one corner you need to mix it, mix like this, then you need to mix, from the other corner you need to mix 
this and from the different corner you need to mix because if you are not careful changing the corners then uh, some solution may be get mixed and you will get the fault reaction so uh, if there you found that after mixing this solution you got some hemolysis on this and some hemolysis present over here so this anti a and this anti d anti d we know that anti d uh, is determined determines the Uh, whether the person have uh, Rh positive blood group or Rh negative, so if we have here agglutination and here agglutination positive, so the interpretation is will be like uh, it is A positive, okay, and if you got a uh, agglutination on this anti B as well as anti D and anti A, then this will be AB positive. And uh, which is the commonest? The commonest is B positive, in which we you, uh, you will get the if you know if you know is A this is A B is just B positive, not A B positive. Okay, so this is a brief about the blood group system, and uh, there are different types of antibodies like uh, this and uh, A B blood group system. In my next lecture, we will discuss about this, and uh, this is short for the blood system. Thank you. See you in my next video. Thank you.